Hello, Internet. This is Bone Carlos coming to you live from Ohana LE to bring you another StarCraft 2 commentary. Today, the opponents or the players are going to be Dreams spawning as the Red Protoss. And as you know, it's spelled with a Z, so he is extra cool. And he is going to be going up against Dan. Spawning as the Blue Zerg. Now, a little bit of Street Fighter, you know, King of Fighters trivia. Dan is a copy of Ryo, who is a copy of Ryu. So, Dan is a copy of a copy. And I do believe King of Fighters actually copied a Dan character. But I'm not sure exactly what that character's name is. So, there's a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy out there. And Dan is uh, the third copy of the copy of the copy of the copy. Anyways, this is a PVZ on Ohana. It looks like Dreams is going to go ahead and opt for a Forge Fast Expand. Now, Ohana, easy to capture natural expansion, wide ramp to lead to the natural expansion, backdoor, destructible rocks, leading to your easy to capture third. So, uh, given that and the fact that it has very nice wide open areas and wide avenues of attack, this is a very much so... Uh, quote unquote Zerg map to play on and it looks like dreams is just doing a little bit of annoying thing capturing uh, the mineral fields so Dan can't mine from them for those split seconds it's just a little bit of harassment and something that you may want to work out as you work your way up to the ladders these two players are of course masters level players and I am rooting for <laughs> dreams as he queues up 8,000 minerals worth of probes he's then finally gonna go ahead and put down his force so all the harassment back in the base of Dan kind of messed up his macro just a little bit his timing on the builder just a scotch but that is a-ok -okay. I forgive you dream since you are a bro toss that is a-ok -okay. and looks like uh, Dan is gonna go ahead and try to chase away dreams but before Dreams is pushed away. The pylon does go down. A single drone is going to start nibbling away at that pylon. And then the cast before, uh, the cast before I did this, it was I believe on Tolderium Altar. And then that um, uh, the Zerg player immediately went and took the fourth base. Um, not something that I would recommend. And I hope Dan doesn't do this. Uh, doesn't do that as well. And it looks like Dream is going to go ahead and block the third base from going up. Is he going to put down a pylon? We don't know. But he is putting up his own nexus. So his expansion is going to go up before Dan. And that is something you always would like to see out of a PVZ. Especially if you're, if you're on a Protoss side of things. The links do finally pop. They are going to start nibbling away at that pylon. And it will go down. No uh, assimilator just yet on this Vespin geyser. As the Queen finally does pop. The probe is still harassing uh, Dan and his third uh, base and it looks like the probe is going to go ahead and run around uh, stake his claim on the thing and put down another pylon but the two zerglings are there and I expect to see a sort of a uh, quick sort of cancel on this pylon very very quickly still no gas is going to be mined and looking over at team dreams we see his gateway is uh, going to finish up in a few seconds the photon cannon is done going to go ahead and chase away that overlord already has double assimilator being uh, warped in while his natural expansion is just about done. He actually let this pylon finish up, so he's not going to recoup any sort of minerals on that. That's 100 minerals wasted. I believe it was 100 minerals wasted over here. So 200 minerals in total have been lost by Dreams. But the delay on that second uh, expansion, on the natural expansion, and then the delay on the third is well worth it, in my opinion. He still hasn't finished off a complete wall off. He put the cybernetic score in the back. He just doesn't want to make sure he doesn't lose it. So some sort of baneling bus is still able to produce those stalkers and sentries if it comes down to that Dan is just taking the Zell Naga tower getting himself some vision and right now the vision is very clearly in favor of Dan he's scouting off the main base of dreams and has pretty much control of all of uh, the entire map I mean he puts down a zergling at the third he wants to scout out and know exactly when that third base goes up while dreams is just in his base hanging out doing nada and that is just fine and dandy he's just his natural expansion is up and running still no uh, no clear tech path on where he's going it looks like dreams is sending out that zealot with all his uh, zerglings just scattered about the map this zealot could actually do quite a bit of damage on these solo zerglings i mean he's gonna catch this one off guard gonna do a couple of swipes already puts it down to one swipe from being killed there is two more zerglings that are just going to go ahead and try to intercept it but two zerglings are not going to be enough to chase away this zealot this zealot is going to just chew through these swipe through these very very easily in the production side we see two more zerglings being produced and this zealot is just going to go ahead and start swiping away at the hatchery it's not going to get the 
going to get to kill that, obviously, but it will uh, force Dan to produce more and more Zerglings out of this larva that he wants to use for drones instead. Finally, two more Zerglings pop, and Dreams doesn't want to get caught by a queen Zergling combination, so he's going to go ahead and pull back his Zealot to be uh, actually be backed up by this Stalker. So early aggression, very good job by Dreams, going to get plenty of kills with this Zella already has three kills and it looks like this this queen might go down the stalker's trying to focus that fire down while the zealot takes care of the zerglings but the zealot does go down the zerglings actually get into the stalker and it looks like the stalker is going to be forced to be micro away and he looks like he's trying to poke away at the queen but it will it survive another queen does pop and finally it looks like the queen survives it needed three more hits from that stalker to finish it off so close yet so far yeah, but that is A-OK. -okay. Looking over at the resource or the units lost tab, we all see one worker killed, three units killed by Dan, and six worker or six units killed by Dreams. So looking at the units lost tab, we see the resources is clearly in the favor of Dreams. 525 to 150. So uh, it, it does look like it is in favor of Dreams, but he is delaying and just forcing Dan's uh, build to be that much later. I mean, it is eight and a half minutes. There is bare the, there is no evil chamber up that I can see. There is just a spine crawler. There is just a single, uh, the, the third hatchery is up and running, so no double evil chambers just yet. And that macro hatch is being built. Uh, and yeah, the, the evolution chamber is finally being put down and it's about a minute and a half to two minutes late. Uh, I would say, again, I'm not anywhere near the level of these guys of play, but uh, from what I have seen in these casts, it is quite a bit late. There is already an observer on the field. He's turning out those immortals with, uh, looks like a pure gateway army backed up with immortals. I don't know if he's going to continue churning out these immortals or maybe produce a warp prism to help and continue on with that harassment this observer is going to see exactly what's in the entire base of den the food count is uh fairly even so nothing too crazy on there and right now dreams must be feeling pretty good he's going to finish up his plus one attack uh upgrades i have pretty soon he's going to nibble away at his trapped over rocks he chased away finally that zell or zergling that was hanging around in that third base and now he's going to go ahead and put down the third base of his own while still continuing to scout with that OBS. It looks like Dan is just going to, trying to produce as much creep spread as possible just to give himself that much more vision. He has two queens. It looks like he has a queen per base. Well, at the same time, has uh, two spreading that creep. So I expect this creep spread to be very far in just a short amount of time. Dreams is trying to build himself some uh, some sort of wall off here. Need another pylon right here to cover up this gap, and maybe another building right here to cover that up, and then just continue to uh, build that wall off to stop any sort of run uh, zergling run bys. But right now, he is has a nice sentry count, an immortal, and a couple of z uh, stalkers. But I would suggest him start churning out those um, those zealots to deal with the mass waves of uh, zerglings that are bound to happen as soon as Dan gets his uh, gets his act together and starts gearing up all of these uh, units. He's still building just pure spine crawlers and has no rally set yet for all of these roaches. So they're just hanging around in the middle of the base. A little bit of a misclick or a misstep by Dan. He's going to go ahead and try to chase away that observer. One more volley will finish it off, but it is out of range of this overseer. And it looks like this observer is going to go ahead and try to hightail it out of there. One, two, that observer is done and what also is done as well is the nexus at dreams is third so he is researching blink so good choice while at the same time researching plus one ground attack so no zealots for him he's just going to go ahead and go into blink a stalker with some immortal backup and trying to trap those uh, roaches that are going to come eventually with the force fields of the sentries in the production tab we see nothing too crazy just yet we already see a spire going down for dan and a it looks like a hive so Somewhat of an early hive. It looks like he just wants to go straight into that Broodlord Immortal immortal count. And right now it is past the 12 minute mark. So uh, being Dreams, I know that that mass uh, Roach Army is not coming. I would start researching. Uh, I would start putting down the Robotics Bay. Try to get up that Colossus count. Or put down another Robotics Facility and mass producing these Immortals. And start attacking. Start harassing. Your opponent doesn't have anything. You saw exactly what was hanging out 
in the base of Dan, and it was a whole lot of nothing. I mean, he has units all over the place. One solid push here, a force field here, a force field here, and this natural could go down. I mean, even if he just shoved his forces down the throat of Dreams and attacked this third, force fields here, force fields here, and no amount of roaches will stop force fields plus blink stalkers plus immortals. And it looks like plus two attack is coming up for Dreams, so, and a Templar archive, so, ooh, hopefully we can see some storms or some archons and right now a robot a warp prism is being built with another force so double ups uh, for dreams while dan does it looks like he finally does have two evo chambers up and uh, look at the queen count three four five and this queen is still hurting from that original attack that happened about 10 minutes ago so it looks like dan is just uh he looks like he actually hotkeyed all of his uh, queens together in one and is just mass injecting all over the place. This warp prism is going to go ahead and uh, it might, see, yep, it's going to spot that fourth base. And also, if I don't know if he's seen that fifth base as of yet. Nope, he has not, but he has spotted this fourth. I don't know if uh, Dream is going to go ahead and drop all of his units right here and force a cancel. I would like to see him just produce four zealots, uh, enough to take down this hatchery quickly and then load them up into this warp prism to attack the main base. Uh, but it looks uh, like uh, Dan has spotted this warp prism a nice warp in by those zealots so three zealots were warped in he's gonna go so, going to start hacking away at this hatchery and he's just gonna go ahead and pick up and leave these zealots to die and gonna go ahead and do a drop in the main but the queens are there to repel it and this warp prism is forced to go home a couple of volleys do take care of those zealots very very easily and it looks like archons are on the field plus one plus two attack is almost done no uh, no shields level one up just yet and if he was going straight archon i would have actually I'd like for him to start researching those shields a few minutes ago. It looks like a Stargate is being put down, but more than likely just for a mothership. And finally, Dreams decides to push out. The food favor is definitely in Dan's corner, but right now it is just pure Roach versus Stalker, Sentry, Immortal and Archon. There are six Corruptors being put up on the field, but there is nothing in the air that can be hit by those four Dreams, so he is just A-OK. -okay. A, a couple of more Warpins, and he's going to be equal footing food count, and a small pack of Roaches does get caught out of position, and Dreams gives chase, and it looks like this third base will go down. A couple of volleys take down these spine crawlers very easily a mass exodus of drones but they're gonna get churned and chewed up by these archons finally the army of dan is there but a couple of force fields will block off this ramp a couple of force fields will block off this ramp a couple of force fields will block off this ramp and catch half of the roach army of dan that road that roach army is destroyed look at the damage being done the third is down put down another couple of force fields the brood lords are there hightail at home and on the way out take care of this army or this base you don't want to stick around and fight those uh, brood lords just yet you do have blink and you have enough stalkers to do the damage but really you pot yourself a massive amount of times and he is heading in the wrong direction he does not know about this base but that is a okay he did the damage he wanted to do by taking care of that third and it looks like he's gearing up to take his fourth as well it looks like plus three attack is up and running a fleet beacon is being researched as well about 50 percent and it looks like dream swings around and takes care of dan's fourth but he is completely out of position there's gonna be a huge run by and a huge swell of zerglings and there is a gap here there isn't a zealot there to stop it and the zerglings do stream forward and this is going to cause major amounts of damage a probe count is going to go down looking at the workers killed four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen Probes are killed so far with more on the way. 15, and it looks like this Photon 10 is going to get plenty of kills on these Zerglings. These guys are just on A moves and no micro being involved, and it finally does go down. Finally, the army of Dan is back, but not before 27 probes were killed. So huge attack and huge mistake by Dan's. I would actually like to see him just leave a single zealot right here to just to complete that wall off. And that would have saved himself a lot of trouble. It would have caused the Zerglings to run back here into the path of a couple of more photon cannons. And would have saved himself a lot of trouble. And right now the harvester count is actually equal with both of these bases going down. And a lot of those harvesters being killed on both sides. The harvest count is equal. The income tab is about the same since there are both on three bases for both players but 
Uh, I'm interested to see exactly what the unit composition of both players are. We see over in Dream's Corner, we see a lot of Stalkers, a few Immortals, a couple of Zealots, and a few Sentries that were left. I mean, it looks like a lot of Sentries were killed in that first initial push. Uh, it looked, I, think, I would say about half of those Sentries were killed. But in the corner of Dan, we see Broodlords, Ultralisks, Roaches, uh, and, but no Infestors. So I'd actually like to see Dan to put up a, f a couple of Infestors. He definitely has an Infestation Pit. Maybe produce uh, a few. And there is one being produced and a couple are already on the field. So those Fungals are going to be key. And right now it's going to be very late game. Both players are maxed out. Dreams has a couple of Zealots just littered around the map. And I would actually like to see him pick up those units and uh, head home. Another run by is going to happen. It looks like this Nexus might go down. Down. Dreams is gonna be a little bit too late. The Nexus is completely surrounded. There are there is a double prom that double pronged attack. Dreams spots is perfectly puts down the force field exactly where it needs to be. This Nexus is might get saved. The blink forward does happen, but will the Nexus go down? It doesn't look like it might. It might and it does go down unfortunately for Dreams and unfortunately for him as well there are uh, Zerglings in his third base they are going to try to take down that Photon Cannon he's cut up to 9 kills before it finally does perish into Oblivion and a few Zerglings are going to start nibbling away at those probes so back and forth action by both players and again that damage was huge against Dreams another key force field blocks off that run by these Zerglings have nowhere to go the Mothership is on the field of play and that is it on that aggression looking at the income tab we see after that after that attack, these Zerglings are still going to town. There are only 29 Harvesters left for Dreams. And finally, thankfully, the Zerglings are taken care of. So, wow. Huge damage being done. He looks like he does have enough uh, resources to put up this fourth base. Another force field does block off a tiny little run by. And this sentry has done its job, done its duty very, very well. A pylon, another pylon does go down just to make sure Dreams is at the 200. We're able to pre uh, get to the 200 food count. Uh, but I would actually like for him to see, put down this Nexus as soon as possible. He doesn't have many probes, true, but he also doesn't have that many mineral patches left. Especially in his natural expansion. And this main is just about... It's just about had it. Another huge run by is going to happen at the same time that Dreams is going to go ahead and take care of this hatchery. Cancel this as soon as possible, Dream. Save yourself those lost minerals. It doesn't look like he knows what's going on quite yet. He does cancel it, send, save himself 300 minerals, but the Zerglings are again in the mineral line of dreams another huge uh run by did occur but there is not going to be much to stop this army of dreams it is huge it is powerful it is protoss there are ultralists is there but the mortals could have caused huge amounts of damage especially with that plus three attack and there it goes the infestors are there no fungal growth just yet a huge choke and finally the neural parasite on the mothership not sure if he's going to use that for a vortex on the on the army of dreams there it goes most of the stalkers are being taken care of a blink uh, does occur and finally that is it for dreams army a lot of infested terrans are being put down in that vortex and everything is being shoved in there finally everything is pushed out and there is just a huge conflagration of enemies i have no idea what's going on the mothership finally does go down overlords are overviewing the entire arena immortals are still up uh, an ultralist is caught in the back doing absolutely nothing it finally does get picked off one more brood lord is left in but dreams is trying to take them out finally blinks away when the rest of his army is finished so now all that is left is absolutely nothing because in all that was happening the Zerlings took care of the third took care of this fourth and right now dreams has zilch while wow, dan uh, although does have the food count he's still he's stuck now against on pure uh roaches he does have a few infestors here and there a couple of corruptors and a The probe survives! <laughs> it lives to fight another day. Not sure what the hell he was doing over there, but it lives. Good for him. This stalker is just hanging out. And right now, both players are just recouping, going, what the fuck just happened? Because that is exactly what did happen. Looking over at the income tab, we see about mid-20 harvesters for both players, but no bases up for Dan. He's only mining out of uh, four mineral patches, a couple of uh, extractors, while Dreams is about the same. He only has a few mineral pa patches here and there. Both players are semi-low on resources, except that Dreams has a 
ton of gas to be able to churn out those Archons. Not sure if he researched Storm. He did not research Storm. He did, does have a Robotics Bay, but that is not going to be in any use whatsoever at the moment. Broodlords are being uh, morphed in by Dan, and another push is happening, and I don't think... And wow, actually the Infestor count did swell up for Dan, so he definitely has enough to be able to stop this if need be. A couple of drones get caught out of position. A couple of volleys do take care of does take care of most of them. Finally, the oh, a nice a nice zealot composition, a nice uh, neural parasite. One force field is down, but the neural parasite is too much. Almost all of those archons are mind controlled. It looks like the roaches are finally going to pick them off here there everywhere dreams leaves the game so good job by Dan great job on holding off all those pushes great job on doing those run buys those split run buys with those uh, with those zerglings and that's it for this game I hope you guys enjoyed if not leave a comment down below on what I could do to make these more enjoyable for you otherwise uh, oh and also if there's a particular replay of your own game that you would like for me to cast leave a comment down below to one of the major replay sites or I am PM me or do whatever you guys have to do otherwise I'm out of here